Hi and welcome to my channel. It's Rebecca, also known as 4Kids147. And I finally get to unbox this. So this has been in my house for a while, but as many of you know, we've had December whip and chats and such like going on through the month of December. So I hadn't got around to sort of opening and sorting this one out. So firstly, let me get into the package. It's come all the way from Australia. Oh, it's got a candy cane, though it has got bashed a bit by the post, but that's fine. Um, and what looks like a little chocolate coin. Oh, that's sweet. Um, so I did order from Everlasting Tips because I have heard some very, very good things about them. So, nothing left in the envelope. I know these are small items, which is why I'm trying to make sure. Okay, so this is what I ordered. Can you see? That's the four that I ordered. So, Everlasting Tips do a few different ones. So, this is the details of them, in case you want it. Is that going to focus? There we go. So, it's an Etsy shop. And that's where I purchased them from. But they give you, um, or they sell, stainless steel drill pen, drill pen tips and multi-placers. Um, oh, I got some little, little Australian stickers. Koalas, kangaroos, possums, etc. Um, so they've got a two-placer, three, four, six and a straightener. So it advises to change the tips. Okay, so there is a chance that your multiplacer is going to be loose, but you can rectify by wrapping tape around the shaft or gluing it into the pen. Okay, try not to damage the tip. Okay, so this is what it looks like I need to follow. So what you tend to find, this one's probably not the biggest corporate. I know I do have it. Oh, here we go. So this is a pen I've had for a while. Um, this is from Hand Turned Heaven. But I don't know if you're even going to be able to see if I can get it to focus on it. I'm trying to think whether I can get it to focus on something like this. Come on camera, play the focus game please. But the tip of my pen has a flat edge. So that is flat rather than round. And sometimes you can get them to get dinks in them. That one's actually round, but this one isn't. Um, and that can happen with the brass sort of tips. And these everlasting tips, because they're made of steel, they work better. So what does it say? So you pull out the brass tip with pliers and you pop the stainless steel one in. Now it does say something about popping it into a boiling cup of water. I am just going to see with a pair of pliers if this does come out without it, and it does. So I didn't need to put that in hot water or anything. It's just come out on its own. Ooh. But that is the brass tip that is flattened on one edge. I've probably just pushed a diamond with it or something and it causes a problem. And then what I've purchased, if I can get in it, because it was stapled to the thing, so I'm trying to keep my little bag. And I wanted to give these a go, so I only ordered four. They're not the cheapest, but if you do have some nice pens, it can be worth the exchange. Hang on. Okay, there is four in there. I thought I'd only tipped out three. Okay, so this is the replacement. Now, 
they've got much better images on their site, but the replacement doesn't allow wax to come out the other end. Whereas on the brass one, it does, which is why you see pink wax going further and further down your pen. So I'm kind of hoping that the wax will last a bit longer as well in the fact that it's stopped. But this should just, and it does, slide in, give it a push, and there we go. I have successfully replaced the pen tip with an everlasting tip, which shouldn't, well, won't, I've not known anybody that does. Um, yeah, it, it shouldn't cause any problem and therefore is a lot tougher so it won't bend because it's not made of brass. Now, I wanted to change this pen as well. So I'm gonna see if this one, oh, this one's coming out just as easy. UK weather is probably playing a plus for us. I'm guessing the weather and the, the plastic contracting and stuff makes a difference. Oh, apart from when it maybe comes to popping it back in. And oh, not that with the pliers and the pen lid is still pen tip is still fine. There we go. I've just pushed it down on the flat table. So I have successfully changed two of my pens to be the everlasting tips. And if I like it, which I'm thinking I will, but I will let you know, I think I may replace all of them. All of my um, acrylic pens anyway, my acrylic bought pens, they can be interchanged from one to another. So you can, it does say it's interchangeable between your pens. You just need to make sure that you don't squash the end of the tip because while they are steel, you know, it can still be crushed <laughs> if you stick it in a set of pliers and crush it. But I think if I ever wanted to exchange it, I would just take the whole plastic part out because some of the pens are more forgiving in taking the plastic out than others. Um, and I could just, for example, this pen, it just pulls out. I could just do that. But I think I'm too lazy to do that. If I'm going to, you know, really, really enjoy these pen tips, I think I'm just going to buy enough to replace them all. So, I'm trying to think what other... I know I wanted to replace it in this one because my daughter pinched this one and I've not got, had to use it enough. But I'm just having a look. So this pen is quite damaged. So I'm going to replace the tip in this one. This one I must have used quite a bit. Can you see? In fact, let me pop it in my hand rather. Can you see all the pink wax coming out the other end of that one? So I must have had to fill this up quite a bit for the pen wax to be coming out the other end. So let's pop this one in, pop it on a flat surface. There we go, that one is replaced. And then lastly, what I am gonna replace is, I'm going to replace the tip in this one that I got um, in a recent unboxing from Diamond Art Club. So while this one is not damaged, I am planning on using this pen for my Minions painting, which I got from Diamond Art Club. Thought it was quite apt. We'll use it for the same one. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, and because I'm going to do that, this will give me chance to use this everlasting tip for a decent amount of time and find out if it is loads nicer. So that's that one replaced. So I don't know why I bothered about protecting the baggie because I've just used all of those tips. I will keep you updated and let you know what they're like, but obviously these four pens are gonna be ones I'm gonna use for the next however long 
um, and see how they work. I have heard they also do the bent tips if that's what you prefer. I have got a pen with a bent tip, just a brass one, on its way. Um, though it is coming from China, so it might take a little bit. But I have got one on its way that I want to try and see if I like that style. So I'm going to hold off ordering more from Everlasted Tips until one, I've checked whether they, they work well. And second, I've confirmed whether I actually want to use the bent tip more so. You can also get the whole complete unit. In fact, did it show it on here? No, it didn't. But you can get the whole complete pen top as one of the things that they sell. But it is cheaper to purchase a multi-pack of just the little tips in the end. But stay tuned. It will be coming up. But I hope you've enjoyed this unboxing. I know I have been waiting so long to get these out and try them out. So I might go do some diamond painting. But thank you so much for watching and I will speak to you all again soon.